Hey guys, so I'm going to be showing you how to make the one carb waffle and this is actually from PE Science. This is the protein that kind of started it all. So what you do is take a scoop of PE Science Select Protein. Um, for this video I'm using the peanut butter cup and then you just pour the scoop in. Then you take baking powder, not baking soda, put a dash in there and then do one whole egg. And this is for one serving by the way, for one waffle. And after that you pour in a little water for consistency, so like I kind of know how much I need now, but depending on like what kind of consistency you like for your waffle, start with a little and then you'll see when I'm like done making it, you'll see when I pour it in what the consistency looks like and that's what you should have for best results. You spray a little bit of Pam or if it's completely non-stick already, then you just put your waffle in. And the waffle maker that I have is like a Belgian waffle maker. This thing is like so high tech and the only reason that I bought it was for the purpose of making one carb waffles because I'm obsessed. Like over the summer, I spent my entire summer eating them every morning and they're amazing. Um, as for toppings, I'm going to talk about that really quickly right now. As for toppings, Walden Farms has a syrup that is like zero calories and then Halo Top is amazing. PB Fit's amazing. You can put a sugar-free jelly. It has a little less like carbs in it. There's tons of options for toppings because this is purely mostly protein, like there's very little of anything else. And then personally for this video, I was using Halo Top, the peanut butter cup, and then um, I just put three scoops on it, which was about one and a half servings, which was not like a lot for having ice cream on top of it. Then for the next topping, I was using the PB Fit, which is actually organic, non-GMO. It's super great. It tastes amazing, and it's powdered peanut butter. It's 50 calories, and I just drizzled it on top to give it a little extra like peanut butter flavor. This waffle tastes just like a Reese's peanut butter cup. It was hands down delicious. So that is all for this video. If you guys ever want to make one, I'll have the recipe down below. I love you guys so much and I figured I would share this with you. Don't forget to check out my social media, like, comment, and subscribe. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Mwah.